Today I'm going to show you some tips on making bits and pieces for your tank. Have you ever sort of sat down and thought, what can I add to my tank to make it look a bit better? Uh, well, you know what, when you get your new tank, you get the accessory kits that you take off all these little bits and pieces. Something similar to this here. Okay. Now that there, you'll throw that away, wouldn't you? So, I don't. I keep these because these become my little bits and pieces I add to the tank. Now, I'll just show you what I've done here. I've got like a little, uh, cut a little bit of the plastic off there, okay? And then what I've done, I've turned it around into that. So that is like a rope hook for the tank. You know, you put that to the tank and then you put like a rope around it to tie things. You can put it on the side. You can make them smaller as well. I made a big one here for something. So um, they are pretty handy to have. As you see, I've just cut all bits and pieces here, you see. So uh, all handy for one day there as well. I've cut that. So uh, I never throw any of these away. There, there's the corners. I cut off. Look at them. That could be for something on the tank. So uh, there's all little bits that you'll be chucking away. You're thinking, oh God, I wish I kept that now. Even that there, okay? What you can do is melt this bit here, make it wider as a platform. And then you've got a hook, or you can make it wider just on the side here. You've got a hook on the side of your tank. So uh, it's, uh, I'll just show you how easy it is to make. Now you've got to be very, very careful because when you uh, heat this up, when you heat these this plastic up, it sure melts pretty quick and it can catch a fire. So the best thing to do outside, but uh, I'm just showing you indoors at the moment because it's raining outside. So what you do, you just get a little bit like that. Okay, and then let's see if it's a little bit. Okay, and then what you do, you get something round. That's it. Just wait for it to cool down. And there you go. So you've got a nice loop hook there for your tank. And uh, you can make them small if you want, or you can have them that size. So, uh, pretty good. So I'll just show you another one with a smaller one here I got. Okay, a little bit, bit a little one there. Just heat it up. Like, I'll go further down, okay, just to make it smaller. Because you guys will be thinking, oh, that's too big, like, you know. So here we go. Don't forget these are the accessory bits of the tank, you know. It doesn't matter if it's uh, one side longer than the other, you just cut it. Just cut it there. There you go. You've got yourself a nice little round loop for the ropes, straps. It doesn't look 100% good because uh, I've just shown you on the camera, it's quite hard to... If it does look out of uh, line, you just heat up the other side there. And then you just uh, just work it around like, you know. Push it down a bit. And uh, you can keep doing it until it actually molds into the shape you want it, if you want it more round or square. Now also, I've been making these little sandbags. They are soft. And they do have like the little string coming out from the side as well. So, uh, look all right. You can make them, you can put them like that if you want. You can bend them. And uh, I'll show you how to make these. These are really, really, really easy to make. So if you want sandbanks in your tank, you guys, another one there. Okay, so you, you can puff it up the other side if you want. Or you can just have it that side, put it on top of the tank. And it does have the fray on the side there. So uh, this is how you, you make them, okay? This here, old car chamois, okay? It's better if uh, you use these uh, imitation chamois, leather chamois, they're not leather. They got like a sort of a pattern on the, on the front there, you know? Obviously you can't do it with the writing as there. So what I do, I cut these little bits out, okay? 
and then I got this like foam that I sometimes get with my BB gun um, little cases. Uh, there you go, it's a bigger bit there just to show you what I, exactly what I mean. Microphone, <laughs> I call it microphone foam, okay? So uh, what I do then, just get a little bit of glue. Not too much. And I'll smear inside. Make sure you do the patterns. Let's see, there's a nice pattern there, you see? Make sure you do it in that side there. Let's smear all over the place. And the good thing about it, you can bend this around the way you want it, the way you want it to fall on the tank, you know? It's not like rigid. You can shape it. Okay, then you put your microphone foam inside there. And then you just squeeze it together like that. Okay, you just squeeze, you pinch the edges, okay? Like that. And like that. Now what you do, you stuff that down in there. Okay, like that. Just stuff it in. And you work your way around it. Top bit as well. Squeeze that. And uh, then you can paint it the colour that the sandbanks, sandbags are. So I hope this is looking uh, okay. So uh, then you just get a pair of scissors, snip off the top, okay? Because it's a little bit overlap. I didn't uh, size it up properly when I've shown you. There you go, see, so you can make it look like out of shape or you can bend it right over. You can just shear off the edges if you want. Make it look like any sort of shape really. Any shape that you want. Now if you're thinking, oh yeah, but they, they tied up the top here, you know? Well, you know, you just get a little bit of cotton. cotton. I've got Second World War cotton here that I use for my helmets. I'll show you guys. There you go. What you can do is just wrap around the top there. There you go guys. I just tied a little bit of uh, the cotton around the top there just to show you. Now when that's painted up that looked quite good. Oh, that could be a little sandbag for your tank. And uh, if I get the others there. These are the ones with no straps on. So you can see it's all fraying there. As time goes along they'll fray a little bit more like the bags, you know. So uh, that's kind of looking okay. So that's the chamois sandbags that I made from that, okay. Okay, I just painted the sandbags now. Flat earth, okay. It looks a little bit dark in the video because they're still wet. They're obviously dry and they'll look pretty good. You can make your little blanket wrap ups like that as well. And there you can see the texture on that side. We can use the soft texture on the other side. This is the blanket wraps on my son's new tank that we just bought him yesterday. So I painted it. Obviously, I painted it the, the Vietnam War colours. They're not like the khaki colour. And obviously one's drooped down there. And uh, I might just change that and put the cotton on there, make it look a little bit better. We've got one on the other side here. So uh, it looks pretty impressive actually. It's not bad considering that's like just a chamois. Okay, these bags that you get from Henglong tanks, they come without the straps. Because uh, I put the straps on there from the chamois as well. So uh, yeah, you can move them around. They're quite, they're very uh, brittle though. They could break any time, but they do look sort of like they've been worn out, and it gives it that natural look instead of like gluing them on the side of the of the turret there. Now also down here, you can see I made some more blankets there, folded them up, and they're fraying at the ends as well. Give it that sort of natural look. So uh, yeah, looking right. There's one on my son's tank as well, a big one. So and there's some more there of the bags with the straps on. 
and also making the buckets if you've got any lids you know like your wife has just used some sort of a little spray lid or something just get the lid and get like a, a paper file clip bend it round paint up the old bucket like it's an old farm bucket and uh, there you go and there's another one here just like a little paint pot that one and as I said before using your little accessory uh, plastic clips there but we should take the accessories off use them and put them on the tank there you go look at that that's okay you just mold like the back end so it's fat and then you glue it and it just stays on I've done that with my son's tank there as well focus there you go I've got to show you this as well use chopsticks wooden chopsticks if you want that sort of look like this and what I've done I've used like a a cork coaster and I rubbed it down so you get little flakes of cork now I put it on here and it's light so it looks like it's dried off on the edges and dark in the middle where it's wet just a little bit of brown paint on there so that's made out of chopstick and it is wood wooden chopsticks as you can see on my son's one there as well also I made these armor panels on the side of the hang long tanks now they look pretty good also on the turret there as well and on my son's tank as well which I made better for him so how I made them pretty easy I made the armor panels from this the cutting mat that we all use pretty good as you can see that's where I cut it from that corner so there you go that this is that there and they're pretty solid on there they'll never come off and what you just do you just paint them and uh, sort of uh, weather them afterwards this as well I actually uh, put it on and I sort of bent it round and the good thing about it with this here it looks like a weld joins as well I just rubbed that down on the sort of a concrete outside and it just finishes it off there there you go so that's my little tips uh, I hope you guys enjoy remember to subscribe share and like god that was a bit of a mouthful wasn't it and uh, make my day help me make another video guys I got one two three four five five RC tanks in four months and hopefully we'll be getting more so the channel is growing and the tanks will grow and uh, we'll be doing tank battles and bits and pieces tips and uh, we'll open up the tank one day and just uh, see if we can customize one so there you go guys thank you very much bye bye